Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi. How you guys been? I missed you guys a lot. Actually a lot. A lot. Anywho, uh, do you guys want to see how I do this makeup look? If so, keep watching. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, where have I been? I've been actually working and just living my best life before this quarantine hit. So, with that being said, I hope everyone's doing great. I hope that you guys are staying home, just being safe. And I hope that things are going good for you guys. And just stay safe. Anyways, I don't want to talk about stuff like that. Because I know you guys come to my channel to, in a sense, escape from reality. Because that's, that's honestly what I'm doing. So, this video today, I am going to be doing... Uh, my makeup just get ready with me and i'm gonna show you guys the stuff that i've been buying lately i've purchased a couple of things because what else can you do during quarantine um i bought a lot of stuff i i still have things that uh they're they're not here yet but it's okay um let me know if you guys want a amazon purchase video like things i bought at amazon i bought quite a few things including this lighting here i am very pleased and also if you guys noticed my background changed yeah my background changed i actually gave my room a little update which is so cute and i'm very satisfied because um if you guys knew if you guys know me you guys know that i hated the color that my husband chose before before I got here okay so I'm happy now and yeah so okay stick around and I hope you like this video I'm gonna start with my max prep and prime uh, spray I don't have a new spray so I'm gonna go and use my old spray I usually use the Mario Badesco but this this is almost done so I want to go ahead and finish it so I can go ahead and start another one because I do have backups Anywho. So we're going to start with that. We're just going to prep our skin. That, that didn't go too well. Mm. Mm. You guys, I'm like liking, I, I love wavy hair, you guys. And make sure your hands are clean, okay, you guys? Because we've been sanitizing our hands like all the time. I literally been buying stuff from left to right just so my house can be cleaned anyways um but yeah what was i talking about i forgot and oh yeah my hair my hair like i'm like very proud that i have some type of wave because my hair is super straight 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 and i love wavy hair so if you have curly hair i hate you because i want curly hair but it's okay it's okay also, um, this is what I do when I when I put anything on my face that has to do with like my makeup or or um, what is it night routine day routine any type of cream that's going on my face. This is a must for me. I love this. I love this. Also, um, the end broke thanks to my cousin. Gracias. Um. Uh, anyways. Uh, how you guys been? Uh, I feel like during this quarantine, I've been really taking care of my skin. And I'm like obsessed with it. Like, I really like being without makeup. And it's awesome. <sighs> okay. So let's start with our primer. Uh, today, I will be using the Tatcha uh, Silk Canvas. Um, this has been honestly my holy grail. Um, I don't like to change it. If if I don't do this, I would probably do the professional. But also, um, I've used, I've been using the It Cosmetics uh, Confident in Cream, and this is actually a sample which I am running out. I ran out, <laughs> and I have to purchase the actual big bottle because I really liked it. So that's something I'm really gonna purchase, and it's worth the price. Um, uh, it just feels so good. It feels so Anywho, how you guys been? I missed you. I'm sorry I've been MIA, but um, I've been working and just, you know, 
during this quarantine i honestly i i don't want to say i was depressed but i wasn't in the mood to film i've been out for almost two months and i just haven't had i didn't i wasn't in the mood i feel like everything that was going on was getting to me and um yeah i didn't i didn't like that so yeah so okay the first thing i'm gonna start using that i did purchase during this quarantine um if you guys follow Dose of Colors, if you guys know who Dose of Colors, Dose of Colors was having a sale with their sponges and I felt like this was a perfect perfect opportunity for me to try them on. So I went ahead and purchased a few. Here's two and here's the other one. This one's already wet and used. I've used it a couple of times and I'm going to tell you the truth. I love it. I love it. And I'm those type of person that I tend to, once I like something, I don't switch it up. I just don't. I'm like loyal to the game. That's just who I am. And my beauty blender for me is everything, everything you guys, everything. And I hate to say it, but I feel like this is taking over. Hmm. Also, if the words, once again, if the words are backwards, it's because I am filming through my phone, through my telephone, and I'm using my screen as my monitor. So that's it. Okay, so first things first, let's start with a sponge. I'm gonna spray it even though I did wash it I still like to spray my sponges and another thing that I did not purchase again I, um, I'm sorry another thing that I didn't purchase anything wait I'm using the same old Mac studio fix fluid so just FYI that's this is something I have not purchased during this quarantine but I did purchase a lot of other things um like concealers <sighs> concealers uh contour palettes uh highlight palettes lipsticks lip glosses that's pretty much it and i'm gonna be using those today Ooh, okay so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation like so All right, and now that my foundation is all intact, I am going to go ahead and use some concealers that, well, actually I have three concealers. I have three concealers that I bought. Um, yeah, I'm late on this. Yeah, I know. So I bought, I purchased a couple of these. I um, actually I purchased a few concealers, a few concealers, and a few concealers um and honestly i purchased this one the medium in the color medium sand by elf and this was too light for me so i'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow base in the future as well as i believe light medium and, and tart i mean you, you can never go wrong with like concealers honestly because you couldn't use them everywhere and this one honestly and this was the color 16 in juvia's place and this was too dark for me so i'm in the color medium sand and i also purchased medium sand in elf on the hydrating camo concealer i actually purchased this today i went to target and bought that along with some other stuff like press on nails and whatnot because we're going through a crisis anywho i just want to point something out medium sand and the 16 hour concealer and this is also medium sand and the hydrating camo concealer and look at the difference you guys it's way off way off you see way off this one's definitely darker than this one so i'm gonna try out this one because a lot of people are raving about this concealer so i'm gonna go ahead and try and see what this whole thing is about okay so right off the bat um i do like the applicator and it's nice and big just like the um tart and i have used tart a couple of times now ever since i did ever since i purchased it and um i really like it okay i really really like it mm.
Uh, this one is pretty thick, but not as thick as the Tarte concealer. Hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that all over our face so we can just highlight all over you see hmm. I feel like I still want I want more highlight but we're gonna go ahead and blend that out with the sponge I also did purchase the this sponge and I really like it it's from elf it's um I felt like it was a little too expensive for an elf sponge but it was I think it was like six seven dollars I'm not too sure but I do like it it's not as I guess as thick I don't know. I like I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like it, but I have mixed reviews. Okay. Sorry if I'm going too fast. So so far so good on the concealer, but I just feel like I want more. The coverage is there. I like the coverage. I do feel like it's more. How do I say uh, hydrating and luminous in a sense? Uh, it's a little shinier. I do like my concealer is matte because I'm just a matte girl, you know? She's just a matte girl. But it's okay. Okay, so next thing, I think I'm going to go with medium sand and tart and just uh, apply in the centers just so I can have more of a... Um, More of a bright under eye. That's just me. I'm just a bright under eye girl. And I'm going to go with a smaller sponge all over. You see, I like that better. You see, it's, it's more. Do you guys see the difference? I like it a lot. Yeah, definitely. I feel more woke. Oh, she woke. Yeah. Okay. So, what are the things that you guys have been buying during this quarantine? Like, what have you guys been splurging your money on? Because I know you guys have been buying stuff. Don't lie to me. I'm not your husband. Okay? You guys don't have to lie to me. Uh, first of all, something smells amazing. I don't know if it's this sponge or this concealer. This is concealer. It smells good. I like it. Ooh, I just noticed. I just noticed something, darling. Anywho, um, okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set my under eyes, and that, that, sir, where are you? Five hours later. I'm um, gonna use my Cover FX setting powder. This is my holy grail. I feel this is better than the Laura Mercier, whatever, however you say it. Go ahead and I'll all right you guys i'm back um my whole face is set and ready to go and i got really hot in here so i had to put my hair up so anyways the next thing i'm going to use is the new thing i just purchased this is actually the first time i'm going to be using this this is the alamar cosmetics um bright and bronze complexion trio in the color medium tan okay so i'm gonna go ahead and use this baby okay i'm gonna use my morphe r r14 it's clean and i'm gonna dip into this color and let's see how it works i've been wanting to get this for such a long time but i just honestly i was just procrastinating and i follow a couple youtubers that rave about this palette and I'm like, you know what? I have to do it. And it's these two Latinas that I really love. Uh, I love Sarai, which I'm pretty sure you guys don't know. And also Taisha. She's a young Puerto Rican Latina who does beautiful makeup. And she's so beautiful. So if you guys don't know who she is, you guys need to follow her. Because she's like up and coming. And she's so dope and beautiful. So I love to follow her. Anyway, um, so yeah. And they rave about... Oh, wow. One Dap. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, she's cute. Ooh. Wow. 
I look like a complete senora, like senora of the ass, but it's okay. Wow, I really like it. Wow, I didn't think I was gonna like it like that. Oh, I don't wanna show my nose. Um, but I like, so we're gonna put that around my forehead. You guys, look at these nails. We're going through it. 2020. You've been putting us through hell. I mean, this is like the least, least of my worries, but I'm mean, like through hell, like, you know, stuff that's been going on. But I'm not saying like this is hell because this is not hell. Trust me. Um, you know what I mean? I am obsessing over this right now. I am obsessing over this. This is giving me bronze. Oh, jello. This is giving me Scott Barnes meets JLo and Kim Kardashian. Just kidding. Okay, so I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this. So I'm gonna go with the darkest shade. Oh, I'm sorry. The color I went with was Soltera. This is the bronzer. And I feel like I'm gonna go with Always Summer. And this is considered the deepener. The deepener. I'm just gonna dab a little and just put some right underneath. And it's definitely the deeper color, so you just wanna be light with it. Obsessed. So I like to go with whatever's left on my brush and just like brush my my nose on the sides just to kind of contour it. But not really contour, you know, just contour, but oh, not really. Okay, so I'm going to go with my left dot with this Time 102 brush from Time Los Angeles. Um, ooh, ooh, we're from LA. If you're from LA, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you're not, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so that's that. Oh, I really like it. Um, I'm really liking the new thing, yeah. Okay, so let's use the brightener just for fun. We're gonna use this I'm woke because a girl wants to be woke, okay? So we're gonna go with the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter. So I'm, so I'm guessing you're supposed to use this to highlight, but I'm gonna use this to bright. Oh, do, you, do we see the difference? Do we see a difference? Mm, I think so. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in the center of her forehead because she wants to be bright like a diamond. Hi, Rihanna. I'm really liking this, you guys. Mm. Oh, she's bright. Okay, so I feel like I don't have to go with blush just yet, just yet. But I am going to go with highlight, okay? Excuse me, I need water. You want to know what happened to the rest of the water? It fell. All over my vanity, and that's why I was a little disappointed and discouraged, but I said no, I have to get my together and film because you guys waited long enough, and you know, it is what it is. Anywho, I know, I'm late. I'm hella late. I'm like so late. So late in this. But, can you see it? Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia. The glow kit. I know, I'm so late. So late. But I purchased it because Anastasia was having a sale. Of course she was. I bought me... I bought me a few things. Uh, some bra whizzes, bra, 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 bra whiz, bra whiz, um, glow kits, eyeshadow palettes. I bought me a few eyeshadow palettes actually, and I should be using them, but I'm not going to use that yet because there's something else that I really want to use, and I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. 
yeah i'm gonna use that so but first we're gonna go with the highlight and we're this is the first time i've ever even opened this and i bought this i feel like over a month and it's long overdue so we're gonna go with i feel like i'm gonna go with glow getter glow getter it's such a pretty champagne color so let's go in with it okay oh she's pretty oh yeah que bonito do you guys like if you like it thumbs up if you don't subscribe i'm kidding oh i like it okay okay am i being too hyper Oh my god. Oh my god, Nico Guerrero. You did that, baby girl. I know I'm super late. Review fucking three years later. How long has it been? If you guys know when was the year that she came out with this, let me know. Uh, I think this is like the new revamped. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. But they were, were promoting this shit hard. So I said, why not? You're having a sale. Why not? Anyway. Okay, so um, I like it. I like it. she's pretty put it back okay next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and use um the new thing i purchased which is the brow wiz in the color uh dark brown and i thought it's a little dark for your girl but she cute okay so i'm gonna go ahead and draw my eyebrows up off camera because this video is already long enough and I'm trying to save you some time, girl. If you guys want a tutorial with my eyebrows, go ahead and comment down below. And I can make that happen. I can make a lot of things happen. You guys want a room tour? What do you guys want? Closet tour? I don't have much space, but I can give you that. Okay? I can give you a vanity drawer of what's in my vanity. I can give you that. I have, I have a whole list. A whole list, baby girl. But you... You need to tell me. I'll be right back. We're back. Alright. So, my eyebrows are done. And my eyelids are prepped. And now, it's time for the big reveal. <laughs> Sabina. Hey. Como la flor. Look at this beauty, yes, Mio. Look at this. Um, que bonita. Oh, mira, que bonita, chula. Oh, que hermosa. Oh, look at the chiquito. I honestly felt the packaging is okay, but for being Selena, I feel like they could have done a bigger palette a white palette or I mean you know I like white you you guys know if you guys know me you guys know I love me some white okay I would have I would have done a bigger palette a definitely a bigger palette the the palette would be non cardboard um it would be white and the bustier I would definitely keep the top but I will actually do this as pearl so it'll be a white clear on the top but the bottom would be pearl call me mac next time call me you guys i really hope this video blows up because i really i i, I feel like eight colors for selena no we need more we need more we need bigger pants well the pants are okay they're okay they're, they're basic mac sizes but they could have added more colors they should have made this at least a 12 palette eyeshadow palette um they could have invested in this because selena is big was big and now is even bigger like we this is everything to us so the fact that they didn't do they didn't go hard on this 
I don't know. Um, alrighty then, so let's go ahead and start off, of course, we're going to start off with this color right here, which I don't even know um, what color is this, honestly. Like, I, I don't know what color is this. The names don't appear on the eyeshadow palette. But I guess I'm going to go with this color, which is really pretty. I mean, the colors are really pretty. I'm not going to lie. They're really, really, really pretty. Están bien bonitos. Pero I just don't understand the story of... Like, I can definitely understand this. But I don't understand this. I don't understand, you know... I don't really understand the storyline regarding the eyeshadow palette. But it's okay. I'm going to go with my favorite Morphe 441 brush which i've been actually talking about this brush for a very long time and people are just now getting into it but it's okay oh fallout okay um we are going to set it actually i'm gonna go with a bigger brush i feel like i should go with um i think i'm gonna go with this m505 it's a nice fluffy brush I do like the fact that it comes with the mirror and honestly these are the first time this is the first time I'm actually using this eyeshadow palette so I'm just going with the flow and this color actually appears to be lighter on the palette and it's really dark on my uh, on my lid wow okay and it's a little patchy mind you I prepped my eyelids and I set it with a setting powder and I still feel like it, it's coming off a little patchy you see that it's it's coming off a little patchy it's okay we're gonna work with it matter of fact I'm gonna put this all over my eyelid I think I'm gonna do one eyebrow the one eye first and then I'm gonna get off I'm gonna do the other eye off camera just to kind of cut time because I already know this is already gonna be a 45 minute video I'm gonna try to edit this video for it to be shorter porque a girl has things to do I know you guys have things to do and I appreciate you guys still watching me thank you um but yeah um what have you guys been buying? I want to know, like, what have you guys been doing? Are you still working? Are you not working? Like, what's the 411? Are you in school? Like, how has been your new routine? Like, if you have kids, do you have your kids at home? I don't have kids, so I don't know what that feels like. Um, you know, I know things have been changing lately, but... We have to learn how to adapt and I feel like things are not going to go back to normal to like maybe next year or at the end of the year but and again what's normal right okay so this came out darker than what I anticipated but I'm okay with it you know I'm gonna work with it because um I'm gonna work with it okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go with the darker brown they have a really dark like charcoal brown and then they have this chocolate brown so i'm going to go with the chocolate brown next and i'm just going to go with the same brush and i'm just going to kind of create a smoky effect because that's what i like i like a smoky brown and that's just what a girl do you know so we're going to create a smoky brown I'm liking it so far I'm liking it I'm really digging it so now I'm gonna go with another brush and this time I'm gonna go with an M M573 brush and I'm gonna go back with that lighter brown just a little bit and just kind of go back up there and kind of like buffer that out some more so you can tell that I I have a brown, a lighter shade up here. So just kind of buffer that out. I'm 
sorry if I'm speaking too much. But so far I do like it. I'm not gonna lie. I um a lot I've seen a lot of girls recreating a, a pink look, and I didn't want to do a pink look. I wanted to do an every not everyday look, but I wanted to do a very um wearable look that you know I know a lot of people bought this palette and you can create actually a lot of looks with these with this eyeshadow palette but I'm just I'm still confused you know on the storyline but I really like the colors I'm not gonna lie but I don't understand what can you do with this red what can you do with this red like I'm very iffy about a red eyeshadow palette a, a, a red eyeshadow okay so now that that's like so deep we are going to go ahead and just add, I really like this pink, so this is such a pretty color. Oh my god, que bonito. I know, you guys call me stupid, demo. Okay, so I guess the names are back here, but I don't know which one's which. Um, eyeshadow, um, me, okay, me siento muy excited. Part. Okay, te amo. Middle. Captive heart. F. Me siento muy excited. Dazzling. Como te extraño. Middle. Like, uh, I don't know where, where is what. Call me stupid. But I don't know. But this is such a pretty color. Mira que bonito. Like, está bien bonito. For all my Spanish speaking, me siento muy excited. Okay? Muy excited. Um, mira que nomás. Oh, mira que bonito. It has like a pink, purplish. Um, oh my god, it's like dual chrome. Que bonito. You guys, oh, que bonito. So that's pretty. And also, this is another. Oh no, I'm not gonna do this one. This is more of like a brownish purple, which I don't like. So I'm not gonna do that. So I think I'm gonna pop this on my center of my lid. I'm gonna go with this really pretty pink. Just put it in the center. Just put it in the center. It looks, it actually, it actually looks wet. It actually looks wet. And I'm, I'm here for it. Ooh. And you don't need to wet your brush. I'm actually just applying it with my finger. Because I didn't feel like applying it with a brush. I usually do. I usually do. Ooh, it's such a pretty color. It's está muy bonito. I feel like I should have um I should have used uh, some concealer and carved it out and then apply the eyeshadow just to give it more of a vibrant look. But this is more of a subtle look, so I'm liking this. Okay, so now I'm going to go with a smaller brush and this is from, hold on, I don't like that brush. Okay, this is more of a really old MAC brush, and it's so old, I don't even know the name of it anymore, but I'm going to go with a darker, oh, it's almost black, I'm kind of scared, I'm just going to smoke that out, just smoke it out, you feel know I me, mean? I'm just going to smoke it out, don't be scared, girl, I ain't going to do it, girl, I ain't going to do it, I'm just going to smoke out. End of it. Oh, yes, baby girl. Can you see that? I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just giggly giggling. I'm gonna go with this bigger brush, M505, and just kind of add some more of that black. Whew. Is it black? And then let's go with that darker brown and just kind of blend those two together in a way.
Bruh. Okay. So I feel like this should be okay. What do you guys think? Something semi dramatic, right? So. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera. And I'm going to I had to do a couple changes, you guys, because I felt like my eyeshadow wasn't popping to my liking. You know what I mean? So, I'm still using the same palette, but I did do some something different. I went ahead and used the T. Louise base in the color Rumor 02. And I end up cutting the crease because I it, it gave more of a pop to it. You know what I mean? So I ended up cutting that and I end up putting this pretty color here, which I don't know the name of it, in the center. And I went ahead and used this bone color in the center, in the inner corners of my eyes. to so just kind of give it a pop. So, and then I used this darker shade to kind of just, um... Give it like a little smoke to it, you know. Um, I am not gonna lie, there is some a lot of fallout actually with this eyeshadow. I, you can probably see there's a couple of flecks of shine on my face, but nothing too major. Um, I do like the palette. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of fallout when it comes to that color, and I feel like it's dragging to the black now and I don't know but I do like that color I actually really like this this look right now so next thing I'm going to do I don't know if I should wing it out or smoke out the line or just simply add a dramatic lash I think I'm just going to add a dramatic lash and just call it a day and I'm going to do that next. So, with that being said, um, let me go ahead and put some mascara, some lashes, and I'll be... Alright, and my lashes are on. If you guys are wondering what lash I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing the Burke MUA lashes in the size. I believe these are medium or small. I'm not too sure, but either way, her lashes are bomb. This is a lash. I ripped the box. I know. So, um, I'll try my best to link that in the bottom. Uh, I believe these lashes are like $9.99. They're really pretty. The hair is amazing on the lash. It's very, I feel like they're very much compatible to Louis lashes. For half the price. I'm just saying. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lips. I actually have a couple things I bought from the um, Selena collection. I bought the, I actually bought three, two lippies, two liquid lipsticks and an actual one lipstick. But for some strange reason, the red one, which I don't have the, number, the name to it, it's backed order. So I'm currently still waiting for it, yet they charged me for it. Okay, so uh, this is one of them. This is called Big Bertha. And this is a, like a brown a brown liquid lipstick um i don't think this goes with i mean it does it can but i feel like it'll be too dark for this eye look and i have uh, the lipstick i bought is selena vive and it's more of a it's more of a nude like it kind of reminds me of creme de nude if you guys know the color that i'm talking about it's well actually this is way darker than creme de nude or is it i forgot the name it was like something coffee i'm gonna just go ahead and apply it just so you guys can see the um how it looks and i don't have anything on my lips but chapstick mm, i have forgot how how good their lipstick smell but this is definitely a really pretty, kind of like a rosy nude. Oh, 
oh it's really pretty it's actually perfect for this eye look because it's it's bringing out let me come closer it's actually bringing out the pink in in my eye eyeshadow what do you guys think i like okay so i really like this um i'm really not a lipstick person because for some strange reason my lips <sighs> don't like lipsticks they like liquid lipsticks or lip glosses because they tend to last longer so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and just add a lip gloss that i have also purchased and this one's from alamar cosmetics and i have purchased it along with the brown the, the bronzer uh, I really like that lipstick, y'all. So, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this lovely Morphe uh, lipstick pencil, pencil, pencil liner, and lip lip liner. Wow! In the color Bite Me, you're just gonna trace your lips, and I need a sharpener. So, where is my sharpener? Damn, that fan's still going. Okay, so that's the lip liner. It's more like a brownish uh, chestnut brown, but I'm gonna go ahead and just add a Uh, this is uh, this is burnt spice. Yeah, this I haven't had burnt spice in such a long time. This might be too dark, so that's a no. So lately, I've been really liking this combo, and I don't know where it's at. I swear, I don't know what happened to it. Okay, I think I'll do this for now. Okay, this is a Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood. So let's see how that looks because I need like a... I just need like the nude color so I can add that lip gloss that I'm dying to wear because a lot of people have been raving about it. Okay, I'm not mad at it. I'm just going to let it dry off a little so I can actually use the, the lip gloss I bought. The lip gloss. Where's the lip gloss? Hello? Oh, it's right here. So this is the lip gloss I bought. It's from Alamar Cosmetics. Um, I do own a couple. Now I own a couple of their products. And uh, let me know if you guys want to have, want me to do a video with just like Latina products. And I have a few like Dose of Colors, Alamar Cosmetics, you know, stuff like that. If you want an all Latina video like hispanic latina mix so i can definitely do that for you guys just let me know down below and without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and try this lip gloss it's called la las des nude ass i don't know what that means like claro okay okay i think this is nude to dos dulce and i don't know why does it say las des nude ass i don't i don't know what is that i don't know i mean hablo espanol pero no entiendo esto so Okay, so this is the lip gloss. At first, when I first took it out, I was like, oh, I bought a chocolate color? I don't remember. But then I saw the bottom, it's like completely new. Okay, so look at what I'll say. 
Where's my mirror? Mirror, mirror. On the wall. Ooh, vamos a ver. This is the first time I'm actually taking it out. Ooh, she glossy. Ooh. It's really thick. Pigmented. But not that thick like I thought it would be. Mmm. It's definitely a Dolce color. Oops, excuse me. And, oh, wow. It's that bonito. It's that bien bonito. So now that I did that, I think I, I I I need blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply blush. And this is just a old blush palette that I have. And I think I'm gonna go with um, all right. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with uh this color right here, which I don't even know. What color is that? So don't ask me. <laughs> oh, she's totally an influencer. Ooh, she's pretty. Okay, you guys. So I think that's done. All right, you guys. So this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching me do my makeup because it's been such a long time. Oh, where's my arete? Oh, it's still there. Um, but yeah, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this look, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Get the pasa. O sea. Anywho. Um, yeah, so if you guys really like this, leave a comment down below. Leave a heart. I'll reply. I promise you I'll reply. I don't have a like, so yeah, that's it. So don't forget you guys, subscribe, share it to your friends, and be my friend. And thank you so much for being there for me. And I hope you guys are safe and you guys are doing well and don't forget to stunt and slay bye i'm back, I'm back again. like so depressed earlier like kind of fellow but you know what